Okay, everything's done on the bike except the fender needs to be cut to look like an appropriate supermoto fender. Let's go for a ride! <laughs> watching cycle cruises all on one motorcycle channel subscribe today and what I did to create the line is I took some painters tape here and I kind of made a line that I think that looks decent we'll see how it works out so I'll go ahead and take a marker and trace this line and then take this tape off and then put some more painters tape behind the line and then go ahead and make the cut and hopefully that tape will help prevent any damage to the finish so let's go ahead and get started. Gotta clean it up, clean the edges up. It's all done, check it out. Looking like a proper supermoto now. Sitting there all brand new, baby, basically. Because when I first got her, I only rode her halfway up the street and back, and that was it. So I still have to break her in, do a first oil change, uh, first ride, of course. I'll do a bunch of videos on this bike. I did put her on the shipping scale to see how much extra weight I added with all this stuff, and I added an additional 18 pounds. So, but. Those supermoto wheels add an extra 8.5 pounds compared to the dirt wheels. So if I go back to dirt or if I go to a dual sport setup, it immediately drops 8.5 pounds off of that. So really it's like I only added 9.5 extra pounds to the bike with you know the street legal stuff, headlight, hand guards and stuff. So that's not bad at all. You know, when I first got her, I weighed her and she was at 246 pounds. So, and stock weight is listed at 256, so, but the tank, it doesn't have a full tank of gas, so it has 10 pounds less of fuel in there. So, uh, if I were to fill the tank up with this current setup, she would weigh 200, about 274 pounds wet. But, uh, like I said, if I go back to dual sport, you take off 8.5 pounds, so it's not that big of a deal. And still, it's still lighter than my WR250R, man. <laughs> This bike still feels like a mountain bike compared to, and this bike only weighs, I think what I weighed at 289 or something like that. And this is at uh, 274, man, with, with supermoto wheels. So it still feels a hell of a lot lighter, but a lot more maintenance than that bike. Like I said, I'll compare this uh, high maintenance, high, high extra power uh, supermoto light compared to the, the low, super low maintenance, uh, you know, dual sport light for the WR250R. I've got a bunch of videos coming up, so stay tuned for that, guys. Uh, like I said, uh, links to all the stuff I added on the bike, like I said, in the, in the description and comment section of this video. For the full list of links to all the mods I did on this bike and my other bikes, go to my website, cyclecruiser.com, and click on the menu tab, My Mods, and those are links to all the mods I did on my bikes. So I have a build video playlist link uh, so go check that out if you missed any videos. Um, I just want to go over the stuff I did on the bike to cap everything here. Of 
course you just saw in this video I customized the front fender uh, I added the 2200 lumen LED light headlight which by the way that has protection so if the battery uh, gets low it will cut off which is awesome I uh, added the uh, Cherubis blue plastic steer uh, it was the stock white ones before that I have the Zeta hand guards with the integrated turn signals with the uh, hand guard mirrors here which I love I also have on my WR250R for a long time and I love them um, I added the of course the trail tech uh, vapor uh, speedometer and tachometer on there I added the upgraded the battery to that new uh, restart battery uh, which is 7 amp hours versus only 2.5 amp hours for the stock one upgraded the exhaust to an FMF and RCT titanium exhaust which drops a pound off of the stock exhaust and of course the uh, Warp 9 Supermoto wheels shout out to uh, Warp9Racing.com as you know I made these wheels tubeless using the 3M marine sealant and the 3M extreme tape go check that video out if you haven't seen it beautiful wheels man absolutely awesome uh, Shinko 705 tires on there like I said I'll do a review on them we'll see how they work off-road it's I got a bunch of videos coming I've got the uh, Tusk Enduro lighting kit that makes it street legal and if you haven't seen my video on how to make this bike street legal go check that video out that's one of the build videos but comes with the turn signals the tail lights the fender by the way this tail light does have a light underneath it that uh, lights up the license plate which is awesome and that's connected with the Zeta handguard the turn signals uh, added uh, of course I have a 44 tooth rear sprocket compared to the 50 stock that I had on there so I got a new gold chain there um, 112 links with the clip style master link when I go back to dirt I will I have another chain that I'll put on that's uh, be 114 links which is stock and of course the stock uh, rear sprocket at 50 uh, 52 rear sprocket for stock. I, uh, counter sprocket's the same, 13 tooth. I, I learned my lesson on that with the WR250R. I'm keeping it stock. Any changes will be at the rear and not the front. Cost me a thousand dollars in damage because of that crappy Pro X counter sprocket I put on there correctly to damage the, the splines of the shaft. And uh, that's, oh, I added the tusk high pressure radiator cap here helps prevent you know boil overs and of course I added the, the fan kit uh, here to help keep the temperature down Creek the tail pack I added here I have one on my WR250R and had one for years I love this tail pack um, it has a waterproof insert there to keep your stuff dry it's durable highly durable I highly recommend this thing and don't get them cheap ones man that's that's the one to get right there guys of course like I told you the Cherubis plastics I may add a, a decal kit on here in the future um, I may upgrade to a comfort seat I don't know the stock seat is fairly comfortable compared to the stock seat I had on my WR250R man so we'll see how it works out on the street when I ride it um, I'm probably not going to upgrade the, the fuel tank size because I want to keep the weight down. I'll just go to the gas station a little bit more. That's all. Um, I'd rather not go to a three gallon on that. Like I said, I want to keep the weight down. And really, I don't plan on really adding anything uh, to the bike. For those of you guys that always ask me about my motorcycle gear and want to get it, uh, you know, my camel pants, my boots, gloves, leather jackets, helmets, all my stuff. Uh, I always include links in the description and comment section of my videos or go to my website at cyclecruiser.com and click on the menu tab my gear and those are a bunch of links to all of my gear cameras all my stuff if you want to see more of my videos click on the menu tab my videos and those are a bunch of playlists with my over 1200 plus videos categorized into those playlists to make it easier for you to navigate hey hit thumbs up and share this video comment helps my channel I appreciate you guys and I love to motivate more people to get into riding that's what my channel is all about guys so don't forget to subscribe to my all of my motorcycle channel and also go check out my other channel book out moto that showcases a van that I customized for cheap that allows me to live in my van with my motorcycle anywhere and has a ton of cool mods and that channel has everything from build videos trip videos uh, anything and everything bug out moto as a courtesy, I included two video playlists, 
one for new riders and those are all of the videos I've done over the years that I feel are helpful for new riders and also my popular videos playlist hey hit the subscribe button I appreciate it take care